now. Not this was a problem yesterday. I'm not. I'm not encouraging you to pull out your phones now and check your grades. But if you haven't done so already this morning, at any point today, you can do so and see not only what you got on the test, but also if that raised your quiz grade at all because you had that one time exception of the test taking over the quiz. Um, I was, uh, I went and double checked to make sure because I, I, I wasn't sure if, if I had been told that we could um, give back the test this Friday or if I had to wait till next week, but it has to, it has to wait till next week. Okay. So on, um, on Tuesday is when I'll give it back to you. Um, the way it'll work is if anybody got a 65 or less, there will be a paper stapled to your test. That paper you would use um, at your own leisure to go twice to a teacher's office hours. Notice how I said a teacher and I didn't say mine. It could be me. I'm not telling you nothing. By all means, I'm, I'm here in the morning. This morning I had about four kids I was working with. The last couple of days I had about six or seven. Um, so you can always come to me, but if you can also go to Miss Lamb. You can go if you uh, if you have a friend that has a geometry teacher that they're telling you is the greatest geometry teacher, teacher ever, and you want to go to them, that's fine. All the geometry teachers have the same uh, instructions, and that's um, that if a kid comes with this form, they would have to stay throughout the whole office hours, ask for help, um, and they sign it. You have to get two signatures. I mean, you'd have to come twice. Once you get those two signatures, uh, at some point in the next couple of weeks, I will give you a date for a retest, uh, and then you would show up to that retest, and that would be your ticket to get into that retest. If you have the two signatures, then they let you take the um, take the retest. Is that yeah, the retake will not happen in this Indeed, class. No. It'll be in the maroon gym. It'll be like AI, if y'all go to Phoenix, it'll probably be there. We'll send it yeah. So if, uh, so we have to have specific dates to take things. That means you have to show up to a health session of oh, some sort to twice, yeah. showing that you're putting forth effort to try to do better. Mm -hmm. Thank you. you can do more, I think, if you're more than yeah, welcome that to that do more. Yeah, that And I would suggest when you go to these sessions, you obviously not only bring the ticket with you, the paper, but also the test itself, because that's what you will be reviewing is the actual test itself. Um, yeah. We have like a you. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, will we like you're going to give us the paper and show us what you? Next week on Tuesday, I'm going to give it back and I'm going to go over the class, but that doesn't count as one of the two tests. So <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying it's a count, but I'm just saying like Yes, I will pass it back. We will go over which ones you got wrong and we will go over it in class like I will do any other time. Okay. It's just if you have a sixty five or less, then um I'll yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, then then the only way that can we take that extra stuff off the desk? Oh, the bag and the phone. It's huh? It's bothering me. I don't have to tell you why. It, it just is. Thank you. If it makes you feel better, it's the same rule for everybody else. The people that have been here from the beginning, I told them I don't want to go back. Hey, take your lunch off the desk. It's bothering him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. If you want, I'll be the sheriff and you can be my deputy. Sure, why not? You, you just let me know. When you see things that bother you, I'll take care of that. Also. Okay, so any questions on what we just said? Yeah. And you had to explain more on the paper. There'll be a lot of information on the paper that's stapled to the front. And sorry, it's okay. Those things will bother you. Those things will bother Okay. Alright, um, so we're gonna I gave you the packet of notes yesterday. If anybody's going to do the written assignment, it has to be due tomorrow. Nobody's forcing you to do the written assignment. In this case, it's a quicker turnaround. Most weeks, you're not going to have just two days. You'll have a few more days if you go the written route. This week, you have two days, if that's what you want to do. If you, if you want the extra time, do, do the digital one. Everybody get on the digital Yesterday, yeah. But right now, we're still going over the notes, yes. If we do both, can, can we choose the one? No. 
Oh, yeah, no, no, no. You, oh, oh, you asked two different questions here. First, you said if we do both. That's not enough. You can do whatever you want, but uh, as far as can, yeah, you make the choice. The thing is, once you turn in the written one, that's the one I'm going with. Because I don't want it to be like, oh, I did the written one, but I, I only got like a, you know, a 52 on that one, so then now let me try to do the, like, if you decide to also do the stuff online, go for it, but I'm not going to count. I, I will, if you turn in the written one, that's it. That's the one. What? What if you turn in the written once I'm going to give you the written assignment you don't have to turn it in but once you turn it in that's you declaring to me this is what I want you to grade and then, and we will grade it but if, if you're planning on doing the digital one then, then don't turn anything in with that being said look you know what you could do right we're talking about getting extra help let's say you're going to do the digital assignment but you just want to do the, the written one just for extra help to understand things. And like you want to come in in the morning with the written one and go over stuff, that's fine. fine. But I just want to, like, by you turning something in, you're telling us you want us to grade it. That's it. Once we grade it, that's what we're going to grade. We're not going to grade the other one. Okay. Good, yes, no. What are you doing? What's your song in the air? <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, um, this is the one I want to start off on today. Find, make sure you find it on your notes. <clears throat> What are, what are the questions are though? Oh, you didn't get one? No. Oh, yeah, they go. Brian, you too? Yeah. Um, can I have a question? Can you remember notes? I'm really excited. Anybody else not get notes? Or? Oh, yeah, you already. Uh, you gave me a <laughs> so I'll ask again. Chris, I, I think you got something in here, man. It's harder to see because we have more color. I, I think it's there. Oh, <laughs> those, those bother me too. Did you see that? Hey, you bother me. Stop. <laughs> Again, so third time now, what are we being asked to do? Find X and Y, but okay, so yeah, X and Y, that's algebra. But then how we find X and Y, that, that's, that's where we have to apply geometry. We have to apply some of the rules that we learned. Hey, let's quick review. I know we learned that there's a few extra things we learned, but what did I tell you were the most important things that we learned yesterday that even one of us, I remember, wrote it down. So this class gave me an answer pretty quickly, whereas my fifth grade took forever to answer this. Adjacent angles are supplementary as long as you have something like this that you're looking at right now where you have two intersecting lines. Any angles that are adjacent are supplementary. And vertical angles are, are, are congruent. And guess what? On this bottom, we're going to get a chance to do both. Yay! We also did some stuff with complementary, and we'll have some complementary. I, I, was, I was looking at this, there'll be some complementary stuff uh, sprinkled in, but the two main things are vertical, congruent, adjacent, supplementary. As long as we have this type of scenario where we have two lines with a single intersection. All right, so in algebra, we learned that in order to find a variable, we need to have a statement of equality, also known as equation. I need to be able, I would love if they wrote the equation for me, but if they don't, I have to write it. Here we have to take the properties that we learned about geometry and write it. So, all right, I look at the y. Let's just look at the y, right? Because maybe you see, oh, that's over there. It's only got a 3 next to it. It's less complicated. Ooh, I would love to solve for y for this. We can. Because any other type of relationship here is going to involve an x. If you put an x with a y in an equation, you'll never be able to find out what you're never going to be able to get an exact numerical value for either one. Yes? So on this equation, um, So what I do have two of are x. So I would have to say, OK, these two angles that contain an x, what is the angle relationship between those two? I mean, we just went over now the two most important ones. 
Uh, linear and wait. Well, okay, it, it is a linear pair, but th let's use the words that we just went over, like right now. Mm -hmm. They're adjacent. They're adjacent. They're also a linear pair. I'm not saying you're wrong. They're not saying you're wrong, but they have they happen to both be adjacent and a linear pair. The, the one I want you to focus on is adjacent because they're adjacent. They form a linear pair. Um, now, okay, what did we learn about adjacent angles? They are. Yeah, see, but don't. Fine. You can say it better. Yeah, they they equal 180, but there's a key word you're missing. Supplementary means that they add, 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 add up to 180. What am I gonna add? Yeah. Yeah, we, we did something like this yesterday. So I add everything up with the x's and make it equal to 180. Now we combine like terms. 6x and 15x? 21. Good. 21x plus 75 equals 180. Yeah. Stefan, what do we do next? Uh, we have to divide. Actually, we have to subtract 75. Good. Subtract 75 from both sides. On the left side, the 75 is just cancel. Um, Jamal. Mental master more. Yeah. Or, uh, don't worry, I won't make you have to calculate it. Just tell me what we do next. Five. Good. Divide by twenty-one on both sides. Is that five? X equals five. Yeah. Yes. Now, if because yesterday we saw this. If they were to then ask me to find the measures of each of those angles, I would plug the 5 back in. But they're not asking me to do that. All they asked me to do was find x and then y. Okay. So what allowed me to do this? The fact that these were adjacent. Adjacent angles. Well, before x was an unknown, but now x is known. So anything that involves an x is the I haven't found what these angles are yet, but if I wanted to, I could. Okay. Yes. So okay. So if it was a problem, so if a problem asks just for the variable, then you would stop here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if it asks for the angle, then you would plug it back yeah, in. Absolutely right. Okay. Uh -huh. and, and read, and that's a good point. Read directions very carefully because sometimes it will just say solve for x, and sometimes it will say what's the angle of measure of angle ABC. Then you do have to plug it back in. Yes. Well. Yes, but what you plug in and what you use is also, there's a little bit of wiggle room, okay? Now in order to find y, since really every other angle here is known, I have the option of, of actually, again, using adjacent angles, or for the first time I can actually use vertical angles because the angle that's vertical to y, I now know, or I haven't found it yet, but I can find it. Anytime I have the option, I'm going to go with something that's congruent. Congruent saves time. Yes, I could use uh, adjacent again, which is supplementary, but I'm, I'm going to go with vertical. Because then now I can just stick the equal sign, and I can put something, uh, I can put each term on each side of the equal sign. So, like, for instance, I'm going to use my, um, my properties for vertical angles. That tells me that the 3y is equal to whatever's across from it. What's across from it? The 15x plus 75, but it's no longer an x. Now it's a 5. But if you wanted to use adjacent again, you could, but you now you'd have to say like 6 times 5 plus the 3y is equal to 180. They give you the same thing. But there you'd be using supplementary. Uh, 3y is going to then be equal to 15 times 5 is 75. 75 plus 75 is 150, as the cool kids say. So what is y? <laughs> so what's y equal to? And since they only ask for y, then you don't have to plug it in back in. Yeah, that's fine. Any questions there? A lot of y'all are still just thinking around the number angles. Now that you have these in front of you, you have this table, right? 
Yes, ma'am. Oh, you're just waiting? No. Oh, no. Just, you're asking? Yes. Okay. So, <clears throat> both of these here, my lord. So, we just put it in the drain. See, what you might be tempted to do is you see this 6x and 3y, and you might be tempted, don't write this, don't write this, don't write this, because this is going to be wrong here, okay? I'm purposely showing you something wrong. You're like, oh, you know what? I don't feel like dealing with, dealing with all those terms with 15x. Let me just say that 3y is equal to 6 times 5, because it's 6 times x. Well, there's no property that we learned that says that, because those two angles are not congruent. They're supplementary, because they're adjacent. These two, these two angles are next to each other. So if you were to use it, I'm not saying that you couldn't use it, but if you were to use it, supplementary means that I would have to add it and then make it equal to 180, just like I did before. And if you solve that, you're going to end up getting the same. If you would have ended up solving for this y, that equation there, you end up getting the same. I'll do it for you if you want, if you don't want to take my word for it. Wait, no, I'm saying like go from this one. You could have used adjacent angles again. Yeah, if you solve what's in green, then you'll get the right answer. Okay. If you were to solve what was in green the first time when I put the equal sign in between the two, no, that would be wrong. But but this would be correct. If you use this one. Try to use the right property. Let's keep on going. Let's do the next one. Here, why don't you do this one alone? Do we have one more time today? Is it it looks at yeah, different numbers, but let's see. I want you to find x and y. Those are the directions. Just find here. If you want to write it in, because the thing is, I got it from the same worksheet, and on the worksheet, they only write it once. So just find x. Find x. Find x. Can I use my phone? I bring copy of that. I don't want the phone. Do you have well, a question? I don't want the copy of it. Do you have a You got X and Y already? No. You want to what? Just, just tell me what you got. I got Y is a straight line. So you got Y is 23, okay, and X is? Let's, let's do it together. So we can try to get through as many of these as possible. Uh, as far as which one to solve first, I don't have much of a choice. I have to solve for x. Okay. So what is the relationship between these two expressions that have they're adjacent, meaning that they're they're supplementary. Yes, you're going to add them. So five x. Uh, let's say let's say adjacent angles. These are adjacent angles, and then five x plus 12x minus 41 is equal to 180. Combine like terms, Skyler, what's 5x and 12x? It is 17x 
Yeah. Lorenzo. What do I do next? Good. Add 41 to both sides. 41's here cancel. So 17x is equal to 221. And then Jade and I take from what you told me that 221 divided by 17 is 13? 13, yes, correct. Yes, I did that in my mind. So, the property that you use next for y depends on which expressions you want to use or where you want to plug the 13 into. If you want to plug the 13 into the 5x, now you got to use adjacent angles again. If you want to plug the 13 into the 12x minus 41, then you can use a uh, vertical. I just, for me, like just a habit, I like vertical whenever I have a chance to just because those are congruent. But it's up to you. So I could, so I could just say now 5y equals the 12, but not times x, times 13. Jaden, did you use vertical or did you use uh, a J You have no words. I feel like vertical. I, I, I always, anything, like, look, you're going to learn five more angle relationships, uh, and those five relationships are up with two intersections, so now instead of having four angles, you're going to have eight angles, and with more angles, there's more variety, there's going to be a lot of times where you can use more than one relationship, but I always prefer to go with the ones that are congruent, which are vertical, corresponding, alternate interior, alternate exterior, those to me are, if preferable, like, if, if possible, that's what I would prefer, yes? About which one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll get there. Let's finish this one. 5y, uh, 12 times 13. Sounds good. Minus 41. That's 115. Right, and then 23. Yeah, that is 23. I got that. Which one? Y equals. He's just jealous that you're sitting closer to Zara. Oh, no. Why are y'all keep breaking my name up in every Why my name in everything? Keep playing Zara. Why is Zara so close to you? Because she said my name is Zara. I love Jesus. Look at you. Look at the light. Please don't try. Just stop that at all. <laughs> don't know. No, don't try. Come on, come on, don't get distracted. Yeah, this is the one you said you have trouble with? Yeah. Yeah. You can't add those from 14x and 15x. Why not? Why not? I mean, look where they you're, are. Okay, you're right. They are next to each other. So therefore they are adjacent. And if they are adjacent, that means that they are. So we have 14x uh, plus 4 plus 16x minus 4, 4 equals 180. This works out nicely because the 4s actually cancel out. Oh, so you still do that even though it's this? Yeah, they're next to each other. Together they make a straight line. I didn't know that. Yeah, I thought it was like a whole other way because they were nope. like. So, okay, so basically, either if they're together, either way, vertical, they're. Yeah, remember, yeah, I don't know if you remember from yesterday, we did, um, where just to make it quicker, in, instead of giving the angles names, I gave the numbers and I went like, oh, one, two, three, four. And then I asked you guys, all right, name, name the vertical angles. Vertical angles here will be two and four and one and three. And then I said, oh, name the adjacent. There was four pairs of adjacent. <coughs> one and two are adjacent. Two and three are adjacent. Three and four are adjacent. One and four are adjacent. Any of those are supplementary. They make a linear pair. Uh, so 14 and 16 is 30x. And then Jamal whispered into my ear that 180 divided by 30 is 6. So now to find y, you can use either of them, but 
if ever I have something that has a congruency at my disposal, I prefer to use that, so that's why I'm going to stick to vertical. So I would first write 4y minus 8, and but because it's vertical equal, what angle or what expression may be better yet? Uh, let's go with Joseph. Which, um, which expression is vertical to the 4y minus 8? Which expression, what, what, what expression that you see on the board is vertical to 4y minus 8? No. 14x plus 4. It is 14x plus 4, yeah. Vertical means across. Vertical and across from each other. So, but I'm not going to write x. I'm going to write 6 because I use my investigatory skills to go and find out that the x was 6. It's all about the vocab. Okay, so all you got to know, what are vertical angles? What are supplementary angles? So you need to review those of that. And make sure you can Harley, what do you want to do next? Uh, 14 times 4. Which is? I, I have it before you say 84. 84, I'm getting in my head? Yeah, uh -huh. then with a 488, okay. You did that in your head? I'll just say calculator. Calculator, oh, okay. Uh, so then plus 8, plus 8, and then divided by 4, it should be, uh, yeah, 24. So y was 24. X was 6, y was 24. Put that all down, Ryan. Uh, the first half. Josh, you're awfully quiet today. Bad day? Alright, I'll, I'll pick you for the next one. Let, let's actually leave. Uh, I mean, this is almost identical to the last two. The only difference is really if, if you really like vertical angles, um, here we have the option of doing both of them with vertical. We're just, we're just going to find x and y, but we can do both with vertical. Um, for the x's, I would just say 3x minus 7 equals 5x minus 35. Sorry. Thank you. We know you're paying attention. Yeah, that's good. Usually, like on Halloween time, when they have the uh, like the discounts on the big bags or candy and stuff, I'll, I'll get that in. And I, I always give that as a reward if they catch my mistakes. We should all get one. I know, but I don't have it. If, if, but if I have one, you would. I mean, you definitely yeah, an IOU. Somebody give you an IOU a mini Snickers bar. Y plus 75 is equal to 3y plus 5. You, uh, you got, why am I writing the y first? Because unlike the last two, I actually now have enough to write my own equation. I have something to compare the y to from the beginning. Those are both vertical angles. Also, those have equal sign. Two equations, four expressions, two equations. What do you mean? An equation means that. Oh, they're, they're, this is a So minus three x minus three x plus thirty five plus thirty five. If I'm going too fast, let me know. But I get forty two is equal to two x. So x is 21. So you're not putting that in because of I don't need to because I have, I have enough to come up with an equation for x and an equation for y without using. You could if you wanted to, I just I don't need to. And if you were, it looks like you'd have to do a, you'd have to do supplementary here. 
because I don't have a y that's across from an x. Minus y, minus y, minus 5, minus 5. So I get 70 is equal to 2y divided by 2. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that came fast. Okay, any questions there? Skyler, you're being also very quiet. All right, Josh, so here, here's, the, here's the ones that we're going to go to you. Tell whether these are always, sometimes, or never true. So there's no work here, this is just understanding the, the properties that we learned about. Do two complementary angles always, sometimes, or never form a linear pair? <laughs> You're trying to figure out which one to guess? No. Jaden? You're going to go for always or sometimes? <clears throat> yeah. One of those. One of those. I'll say never. Yeah. <clears throat> Why? <laughs> why never? Because I mean, what do complementary angles always add up to? Ninety. What do linear pairs always add up to? One eighty. Now look, pre-knowledge, right? Here we go. Just questions that were not being asked, but I'm going to ask you anyways. If I wanted to change that to be sometimes true, what would I have to change? Good. If I change supplementary, uh, complementary to supplementary, it wouldn't be always true. It would actually be sometimes true. Because um, all linear pairs are supplementary, but not all supplementary angles have to be linear pairs. Remember, linear pairs also imply that they're adjacent. In order to be supplementary, angles don't have to be adjacent. Yeah, Stefan. Can you linear pairs for one Yes. So how would two supplementary angles work together for one No, no, it's paired. These are all paired. These are relationships. Everything we're going is relationships. It's, it's implied that there's two angles. So I'm, I'm not saying there's two sets of supplementary angles. It's two angles that are supplementary. So two angles that are 90. They don't have to be 90. How about, if, how about if one of them is 90, one of the other one's 89? How about if one of them is 92 and the other one's 88? They don't have to both be the same. They just have to add up to the one in the area. Now, here we go. Another bonus question. How about, and actually, if you were listening, I actually just gave you the answer. How about if I wanted to change that to always be true? That wouldn't be right. We just talked about right now how I could change this to be sometimes true by putting in a supplementary for complementary. How can I change this to be always true? You said you can't put it always true. I could. I could. We just talked that. I, I literally just said it. I, I have said the word always. I, I, I said the word always a minute ago. Adjacent? Push the linear pair with something You would also, if I had a sneaker in the door, you would get very good. I have a sneaker in So, what Ryan said, <laughs> what Ryan, look. Yes, obviously, we would have to put back the word supplementary here instead of complementary. But then besides that, I would have to switch those two around. Because, again, every linear pair, a linear pair is always supplementary. But it's a supplementary angle is sometimes a linear pair. You'd have to change the order. Okay. Skyler? 
The supplement of an obtuse angle is an acute angle. This, uh, Stefan, this might help you too. So the supplement, hold on, hold on, the supplement. So supplement sounds like what, Stefan? No, no. What does supplement sound like? Supplementary. So by saying supplement, you're saying the other angle. So if I know one angle has to be obtuse, does the other one have to be acute? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you like you're saying like with a question mark, like, yeah, I think. Charles? You don't think so? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is always. It is always. Why always? Okay. Kind of for the same reason of what I just told Stefan, which is uh, if supplementary means add up to 180, and obtuse means greater than 90. The only way you can have an angle that's more than 90, but then keep it to add up to only 180, the other one better be less than 90. We'll, we'll study this kind of a little bit more when we do a triangle angle sum. Uh, in the, uh, it's not this unit, obviously. I think it's the next unit, where, you know, Besides being, uh, besides 180 having to do with supplementary angles, 180 is also the magic number for angles inside of a triangle. Inside of a triangle, angles can only add up, all three angles can only add up to 180. So what we learn is that at most, you, you can't have more than one obtuse angle, because if you had more than one obtuse angle, there'd be too many degrees. You can't, with two different obtuse angles, you'd pass 180. Okay. Uh, Chris, an angle that has a supplement also has a complement. Ooh, let's think about that. An angle that has a supplement would also have a complement. Try to think of examples. Try to think of counterexamples. Uh, I'll go to you eventually, Kyla. Let me just work the room a little bit. What? I'll go to you eventually. Oh. Let me work the room. It is going to be sometimes. It is going to be sometimes. But can you explain why it's sometimes? Kyla, is that what you were going to say? No. No, it's sometimes. Why, wait, can you explain why it's sometimes? Sure, I will. So I asked Chris first to see, can you explain it? That was the guess. See, it's because I already saw a never up there, and I saw an always, so I just kind of guess sometimes. That's what you did? Stefan, were you going to ask something? I thought you had something. It is sometimes. Here's why it's sometimes. Um... Give me a uh, give me a degree. Give me a four degrees. Five, five degrees? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay, fine. <laughs> and this is actually much more than five degrees, but five five degrees is too skinny. So Kyla gave me a five degree angle. Can I think of a complement to that angle? Yeah, what would it be? No. That's a supplement. That's what we're going to complement. Complement equal. Not ninety five. Eighty five. Because what a complementary have to equal? So we are we in agreement so far? Mm -hmm. So five degrees that you gave me has a complement. Okay. Now let's look at the second part of it. Does it have oops? Does it have a supplement? What would it be? So this would be an example that supports this. But if I can come up with a counterexample, if I can come up with something that negates it, well, then it has to be sometimes. Because, yes, we've proven that it's possible, but if I can also prove that it's impossible, then it has to be sometimes. Oh, I was thinking okay. that it was possible that it would just be like, 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 like a straight 90-degree angle. No, no. No, no. What they're saying is start off with an angle. Pick, you know, you picked five degrees. Now, since I'm going to offer you a counterexample, let me pick. So in order to disprove this, let me pick, let's say, I don't know, let's say 120. Does that, and, and I, you know what, I, and I did it backwards. I think it, I asked you complement first and then supplement. I should have been asking you supplement first. So does that angle have a supplement? Yes. yes. What, what is it? 
No, it doesn't. The 120 is the one I picked. You picked five, and we did yours, but now we're doing mine. 120, what's the supplement? 60. Yeah, that's the supplement, 60. Okay? But does 120 have a complement? No, it's too much. Because a complement has to add up to 90. I already used them up. I used up all 90 already. I, I, I had too much. So, now, if you wanted to make this always true, now, now you would switch them. If, a, if an angle has a complement, yeah, it also has to have a supplement. But not that way is sometimes. There isn't a way to make that that way. Catherine, you have something? Question. If you had the 30, 90. No, yeah, you no know, because the angle I picked is 120. I picked 120. They're talking about all angles. So, you, meaning, when you say an angle, that means that it should apply to all angles. I just picked one where what was being stated does not apply. So, she picked one where it did work. I pick one where it didn't work, but it can only be sometimes. All right, let's do another one here. Uh, a and B are complementary. Okay, so now we're going back towards yesterday where we did some more complementary stuff. Uh, but look also here, find not don't just find X, find A and B. So if we learned something from earlier. What what else does that imply? What are we gonna have to do at the end? I need to plug it back in. Substitute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But wait, Mr. But they're not giving me any pictures. That's fine. So it's complementary to your idea that somebody is equal. We're going to add and we're going to equal 90. What are we going to add together? Here it's just x, 2x, and minus 75. Over here it's 4x plus 34 plus x plus 36. But again, equal 90 because of the complementary. Today he's been quiet too. I haven't called him. Brian also. So let's go with a hot. So on this first one, what do I want to do first? Uh, add to 75. Add what? 75. No. You could, but I wouldn't. It's not that you can. I, I wouldn't. What's x plus 2x? 3x. Yeah, that, that's what I would do first. And then I, I would add 75. So 3x equals 165, divide by 3. Jamal helped me out again. He said it's 53. No, 55. And the way I'm done. Why not? Why am I not done? Because you know it's wise. No, there's no wise. There's no wise. Oh, yeah. Hey. I have to substitute because they wanted angle A and angle B. Now, if on this first one, I'm in luck because angle A is done. Because angle A was just 55. It was just X. But then, Stefan, this is yesterday what we were having a little bit of trouble with. In order to find angle B, can I substitute? Of course. Do I have to? Why not? Because if they told us that they're complementary, and one of them is 55, how can I find the other one? And if, and if I don't feel like having to plug in two. Subtract from? Uh, very good. Measure of angle B is 35. Wait, but I don't get it. How'd you get 35? Well, I, I just, I know they're complementary. 35 is the complement of 55. But if you wanted to plug in, go right ahead. Take a while, guess. Um, what two two times fifty-five minus seventy-five is? Yeah. So if we substitute the two times, so do we have to put if we put like equal A or equal B after the sign instead of putting an A in somewhere? I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Like whether or not I end up taking away credit for it, that's another story. But like. I, like I probably, if you showed me all this work and you put A and B, I probably wouldn't. But to be honest, I, I wouldn't just because it's probably not worth the fight. But I can't tell you it's okay because it isn't okay. Part of being in geometry is you have to know how to properly notate angles. And when you're talking about angle measure, you're supposed to put the M in front of the angle. Okay. Uh, this next one, real quick, 5x and x, uh, sorry, 4x and x is 5x, 34 and 36 is 70. 
That equals 90 minus 70 minus 70. It does equal 4. Good, Jamal. Okay, so now you plug it back in. Measure of angle A would be 4 times 4 plus 34, which is uh, 16 plus 34, which is 50 degrees. And then if I wanted to find B, I could also plug in, or since I know what complementary means, what's B going to be? 40. Why? Uh, right. That's fine, that's fine.